that you going through there, Muskrat? Now, why in the world would I be going there, Deputy Dog? I just heard you go again there, Muskrat. Thank you, man, but Deputy Dog, if I said I didn't go, then I didn't go. See, Deputy Dog, there's your... Ooh, hey, look at the hair on that little rascal. That ain't hair, Deputy Dog. He's wearing a fur hat there. My name is Mr. Mouse. I am on what planet? You on the United States of America planet there, boy. America? I have never been in America. You have nice place here. Can I stay and visit for a while? Why, sure. You're welcome to live with us as long as you want to there, Misha. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, look at that little rascal go. He can dance in down there. You are going someplace, maybe? Yeah, we're going fishing there, Misha. You got hooks for me? Sure, come on, boy. Everybody have fun around here. Oh, boy. This thing make a good fishing boat if it stop going... There. Ooh, we a one-eyed sea monster. Look out, that dog. He's getting bigger there. Greetings, gentlemen. I have come to recover nose cone and Misha Space Mouse. You can have the nose cone there, Admiral, but this little fella's one of us. He's a natural born southerner. Yeah. Say something southern there, boy. Hello there, Admiral. You old? See? He speak the fluent Southland there. Hmm. I think he is, Misha. Hey! Hey! Aha! Uh -huh. Keep playing, Admiral. That's our national square dance there. Follow me, Misha. You done give yourself away there, boy. Aha! It is Misha. Now, just a cotton-picking minute there, Admiral. According to the law of hospitality, all visitors can stay as long as they want. Whereas, in two weeks, you've got to let that little guy stay. <laughs> now, don't you worry there, Misha boy. We won't let anybody take you home till you're ready to go home. <laughs> that admiral sure took off when I laid down the law there. Ha 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 ha! Wee, he's back again. Just a doggone minute there, admiral. Now just a doggone minute. Stop playing there, deputy dog. We gotta help that little guy. Aha! Now you come home. Prepare to submerge there, Admiral. Oh, boy! You done set a new speed record for crash diving there, Admiral. <laughs> come back here with my hat, you cotton-picking bar man. Aha! He's home in America, eh, Admiral? Ah, but now you come home. Give me my hat there. You ought to run the scissors over that hat there, Admiral. <laughs> if you come home now, Misha, you're going to be big hero. Me? Big hero? Da, you get big parade, big medal. What you say, Misha? Yow! Misha, go home now. Yow! I go home too. So long, Misha. Is present for my American friends. Come visit my country sometime. Ah, 
Goodbye there, you all. Hey! Hey! How do you like that little guy's dance there, Deputy Dog? I like it just fine there, Muskrat. <laughs> Where are you, Musky? Oh, there you are. We you hear what's going on in the wood there. Why, pardon me, Mr. Rock. Us gophers don't see so good in the daylight. Musky, Musky. Sound like somebody calling me. Hold it there, little old buzz. Why, Vincent Van Gopher. Why are you all excited there, boy? You'll be excited, too, when I show you what's going on. Lead the way there, Vince. I'm right behind you. There it is, right there. Oh, wait. It's the annual Cotton Pickers Cotton Pick and Picnic. Look at all that delicious food there. I do believe I'm hungry. Me too there, Mus. And if you believe hard enough, you just know it's going to be. Uh-oh. Now listen here, Deputy Dog. I'm appointing you special cotton pickers picnic food watcher until the cotton pickers get here for their cotton picking picnic. Don't you worry, Chef. Everything's safe with old Deputy Dog on the job. <laughs> Come on there, Link. <laughs> I'll just climb this tree and get the bird's eye view you've ever seen, in case somebody tries snatching that picnic food. Let me help you there, Deputy Dog. Thanks, Musky. Musky? Now, just a cotton picking mess. I know what's on your mind there, and you ain't taking one more step toward that picnic ground. Me? Why, Deputy Dog, take a look at my innocent face. Innocent? <laughs> How about the time I caught you right in the head? <laughs> and the time I caught you in the pea patch, and the other time I... Uh... <laughs> mm -mm. That picnic stuff sure gonna taste good there, Vince. Now, just a doggone minute, dear. Will you watch with your walking gopher? Now, listen here, musky. I'm the deputy around here, and I... Now, where'd that little rascal go? <laughs> well, I'll outsmart him this time. Muskrat's getting out of hand there. I'll have to do something. Just let him try to get into the picnic grounds now. <laughs> Say, that's a mighty nice fence you got there, Deputy Doll. That's for you there, Muskie. <laughs> Hey! Come back here, you food-grabbing varmint, you! Woo, their feet! You come up out of there in the name of the legal law! You thought you tricked me, Musky, but nobody tricks old Deputy Dog! My, my! You done caught yourself a real desperado tree there! Hey, you bring that back! Hold on there! Oh my, I gotta do something! Uh 
good. Oh, my. Now, before I put you in jail, muskrat, you're going to pick up all that stuff and return it to me. Oh, my. Somebody's taking your picnic stuff there, Mr. Picnickers. Right there. See there? have you done to the hen house there? I'm making it muskrat proof there, Sheriff. The only way that cotton picking egg taker can get to the hen house is up this ladder. And I'm guarding the ladder. <laughs> By golly, Dippity Dog, you finally come up with a good idea there, boy. <laughs> you don't really think you can keep muskrat out of the hen house, do you, Dippity Dog? I sure I do. That little rascal don't stand it. Ooh, wait. The cotton picking hen house is on fire. The hen house ain't on fire, Deputy Dog. I'm just frying up a couple of these here eggs. Wee boy, you gave me an awful scare for a minute, Muskrat. Muskrat? I done caught you red-headed there, muskrat. Now, according to the law on hen houses, raise me some more there, deputy dog. Anybody that's caught inside there eating eggs is a cotton picking egg taker. <laughs> Sit tight, Muskie. You got it made there, boy. <laughs> oh, wait, look at that ladder go. Oh, wee, look at old empty dog go. From there. I'll come down, Deputy Dog, like in as soon as I finish these hair rags. Ha <laughs> I mean, right now, you cotton picking leg knocker. Cut it out, Deputy Dog. You're liable to break some of these eggs. Ha ha ha. Dag Nabbit, I'm a victim of my own ingenuity there. <laughs> Musky, here comes old Daddy Longlegs. <laughs> Come on out, Musky. I caught you fair and square there, boy. I'm coming, Deputy Dog. You ought to know you can't outsmart old Deputy Dog. <laughs> now you climb down there, boy. I'm going to give you 30 days! I'll serve my 30 days up here in the hen house, Deputy Dog. <laughs> Look out, Muskie. He's going to pole vault up there. That be musky, don't just stand there. Do something, boy. Okay, Deputy Dog. <laughs> oh, way, I hope I did the right thing. <laughs> Gotta get that cotton picking hen house raided down there for this the last thing I do. 
Timber! <laughs> Timber! Come on down, you cotton picking hen house! I'm a lawman, and you are defying the law of gravity! Why don't you give up, deputy dog? You ain't gonna get me down till all these eggs are gone. <laughs> that must be the creaky little guy. <laughs> You called me fair and square there, Deputy Dog, and I'm willing to serve my 30 days now. What's on the menu for Ben Dan? Sawdust, muskrat. It's gonna take you just about 30 days to rebuild the hen house there. <laughs> Musky, time for you to get some eggs. Okay, okay. Old Deputy Dog never has been able to keep me out of the hen house. <laughs> Some cotton pecking varmint covered up my good profile there. <laughs> oh, it's you, Musky. What's the matter with you, Deputy Dog? Ain't you going to stop me from egg taking? You can have every egg in the hen house, musky. Poor old Deputy Dog. He done idle paid it from sitting in the sun too long. You're cold, musky. Awfully cold. Am I getting warmer, Deputy Dog? You're cold and you're gonna stay cold there, musky. Oh, come on, Henrietta. Aren't you gonna give me just one little old egg? You ain't gonna get no eggs from them. They're too scared. This is the best Henrietta could do. And she's the bravest hen in the hen house. Oh, wait. That's the most frightened looking egg I ever did see. There's a cotton picking hen stealing fox on the loose. And now, just a doggone minute. Besides being a hen raider, you're now guilty of gun taking. Now, let me have my gun. I said, let me have it. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. oh my, I gotta do something. That a boy, Jeff Dog. Give me old one two there. You're hurting him there, boy. Just look at how his fist is swelling up. Played with the left there, deputy dog. That's it. You got him now, boy. He's punching there. You're tiring him out there, boy. He's not knocking you nearly as far as he would. Hold it there, deputy dog. You got him on the run. <laughs> My, oh, my. He's putting old Henrietta on the roasting pan. Open up in the name of the legal law, please. Let me help you there, deputy dog. Stand back, musky. This is my private fight. I'm afraid. Oh, my 
my head bone. No time to rest there, boy. He's heading back to the hen house. Just a doggone minute there. Oh, way, old deputy dog put that no good fox into orbit. Oh, way, look at him go. I'll bet he'll be clear out of the county by sundown. Yes, I took care of that no good worm at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Shucks, Henrietta. You weren't nothing. <laughs> Come on there, you cotton-picking hands. Cut short the celebrating and start producing. Man, that's what I call mass production. For you for helping me, Muskrat. Now that's mighty generous of you, Deputy Dog. Deputy Dog, I just can't accept these hair eggs. You gone crazy, Musky? I gave them to you fair and swear. But I really don't need them. Uh, see? Come back here, you cotton picking egg taking varmint, you. Hey, Muskie, when's breakfast going to be ready there, boy? In about 30 days, Vince. About 30 days. Sonny, what's the password? What the who? I think you're a cotton-picking Yankee spy trying to sneak through the Confederate lines. <laughs> now, what's the password there, boy? Oh, hey! That ain't it! <laughs> Come back here, you cotton-picking Yankee! <laughs> Dag nabbit, deputy dog, you almost made me lose my cat face there, boy. Oh, wait. Who's doing all the cotton pick and shooting there, Deputy Dog? There's a Confederate soldier back there who thinks the Civil War is still on, Musky. Well, do something about it, Deputy Dog. Tell him the war is over. That's a good idea there, Muskrat. <laughs> hey, General, the cotton pick and Civil War is over. Who won? The North! <laughs> Yahoo! They ain't won yet! <laughs> oh, my. You gotta do something, Deputy Dog. Cotton picking Yankees! Thought they'd all quit and gone home. You ready up there, Muskrat? Loud speakers all set, Deputy Dog. Hold your fire there, General. I want you to listen to this here radio. Uh, what's a radio, Sonny? Dead nabbit. Never mind what it is. You just listen and you'll see that the country's at peace again. I'm listening, Sonny. And now for the football news. In the Orange Bowl, the North will be invading the South again. And the easy victory is predicted for the North. Yee hoo! Help! Help! He got me! Everything's gone black there! So long, Muskie, old pal. You're okay, Deputy Dog. It's just a loudspeaker there, boy. I wonder what they're gonna try next. What you doing with that heavy anvil, Deputy Dog? 
I'm going to bend that cotton pick and rifle barrel double. <laughs> Come on, Yankee. I am ready for you, boy. <laughs> oh, my toe bone. Don't run away, deputy dog. You'll get him next time. You bet I will, musky. Oh, wait. Maybe that stubborn old confederate will listen to me now. <laughs> now, listen here, General. I want to talk to you. Timer is never gonna give up. I've got a Yankee uniform here, Deputy Dog. Why don't you put it on and surrender to the old timer? Happen he thought he won the war, things could get back to normal around here. By golly, Musky, you got a good idea there, boy. <laughs> Come on, General Grant. I got your surrender flag ready there, boy. I feel like a cotton picking trader. Hold your fire, General. I want to talk over surrender terms. <laughs> Dag nabbit. I mean, I want to surrender to you. <laughs> That's more like it, Sonny. Now lay down your arms there, boy. Move. Hup, two, three, four. Old General Lee will sure be proud of me for this. Hup. Get along there, boy. Come on. Up, two, three, four. Yahoo! The war's over. Now I can get back to my little old plantation and put my crops in. Keep them locked up tonight, Sonny, and shoot them at sunrise. <laughs> First time I was ever locked up in my own jail. But it was worth it. <laughs> Now, let me out of here, musky. <laughs> I can't say with the dog. The old timer done gone off with the cake. Ew. Hurry up with more blackberries there, tycoon. I'm adding some good old persimmon sap for a little extra flavor there. Hey, just a doggone minute. What are you boys up to now? We're just stomping up a batch of blackberry julep spring tonic by our deputy doll. Well, according to the Pure Food Creek Law, all homemade soft drinks must be tested and approved by the proper authority, and that's me. Therefore, I'm taking this here stuff to the jail for the legal taste test. Delicious! Uncle Jeopardy! Uncle Jeopardy! Well, <laughs> if it ain't my natural born little nephew there. Mark says I can stay with you tonight. You sure can, Elmer. Make yourself to home. Here. Now you go over to that tree house there and tell the boys to keep on and making that blackberry julep. I need more for testing. Hey, keep on making that blackberry julep there. I like blackberry julep. I'm going back and get some more. Oh, wee! Look what happened to poor old Dippy Dog. He done shrunk from drinking too much blackberry julep spring tonic. I bet you put in too much persimmon sap, tycoon. We better do something before he drinks any more. Hold on there! Let me go! Let me go! We only 
trying to help you there. Let me go. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to stay right here until we figure out this here predicament. Ow! He kicked me in my shin bone. He may have shrunk, but his disposition ain't changed none. It's a good thing he didn't drink any more of this here stuff, or he might have disappeared completely. Now, just a cotton picking minute. You put that julep back where you found it. I ain't through with the taste test yet. He's done broke loose and grown back to his normal size. I think the effects of this here julep must have worn off. Oh my, I should never have added that persimmon sap. Hooey, he's been drinking it again. You know, I'm sure worried about poor old Deputy Dog. After he drinks that whole tub full, he's going to be so puckered up, he'll never get back to his real size again. Let's sneak over and get it back before he wakes up. Oh my, oh my. He gone, done, and did it. Musky, look. Oh my. That's all there is left of him. He done puckered away to nothing. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If the miseries don't get you, the blackberry julep spring tonic. With the persimmon sap? Must. Oh, wait. It's the shrunken ghost of Deputy Dog. Oh, wait. Now he done changed back to his other size. Just a cotton picking money, you two. Oh, wait. my little nephew Elmer, and he's walking in his sleep there. His, his nephew? nephew? Now get back to bed there, little fella. By the way, your blackberry julep spring tonic there has been legally taste tested and ain't proved. In fact, I'll supervise the production of that delicious stuff personally. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,